Hello everyone. So, very lucky girl this weekend. I am being taken away for the weekend by Bradder as a little surprise and a little treat. He's here. Hello, 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 hello. And I've literally, I just finished work, got to Brad's, literally just parked my car up. Brad put all of my stuff from my car into his car and we are now going. And guys, I've got no idea where we're going. My guess is it is still somewhere in East Anglia because it's Friday night after work. We're coming back Sunday. I feel like it's gonna be not too far away. So we'll see, we'll find out. I'm so excited. Very lucky girl. <laughs> Thank you to my little brother. He's excited, he's concentrating. Right, okay, here we go. Come along with us and find out where we are going on our surprise weekend away. absolutely gobsmacked. Brad has brought me to the Cotswolds. We love it here. We've been here a few times. We've traveled through. We've stopped off in various villages and we absolutely love it. And I'm very, very lucky to be able to come here for the weekend. We've got a little tiny Airbnb. It's so cute and bijou and cottagey and everything you expect the Cotswolds to be. So we're here for two nights. And yeah, I'm just so excited. So come along with us today as we explore the Cotswolds. stunning it's so Cotswold-esque it's gorgeous so I would highly what oh, can you see <laughs> I would highly recommend that place to anyone who's visiting in the Cotswolds and we're now going to a place called Broadway so we'll see what's like there
Oops, look at this place. Stunning. Okay, so Broadway was stunning and we're now on our way to Broadway Tower, which is situated just on a hill. It looks like, I can see it from here, at the top of Broadway. So if you're in Broadway, you can see it on the top of the hill. Lovely. So we're now gonna go and check it out. So Brad, you're literally loving your life driving on these roads, aren't you? Oh, another, another windy road in the country. Love it. It's so picturesque because every road is just lovely to drive on. It's got good scenery and it's so wide and the walls are lovely. <laughs> every time you look down you off, a, off a hill, you can see the rolling hills of the Cotswolds. It's just... Tower. Beautiful, and yet in the distance we can now see Broadway Tower, which is where we're now off to. How exciting! Living the best life! say dear live here dear live i did say dear live here yeah dear live here <laughs> honestly oh, britain's future <laughs> yeah right god save us god save me <laughs> honestly anyway guys we follow this path up to the castle what castle yeah it's a castle isn't it well, it's the What's Cotswolds like highest thing? castle, technically. So. I'm just on that board. Yeah. But if you look at, well, you can't really see it from here, but I guess you will really want to get to the top. When you look over there, oh, all you can see is the hills, greenery, hills, and then you've got the castle on the other Yeah, it's just full of trees at the moment, but. Oh, dear life here. Oh, I'm just more coffee. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Broadway Tower. Here it is. This is so lovely, so peaceful. It's great. We could sit here all day and look at this. Huh? We could sit here all day and look at this, couldn't we? Oh god, yeah. On this bench is great. It says, take a pew and enjoy the view. You certainly do enjoy that. So nice. Right, there we go. That was, I forgot the name already. Wow. Broadway Tower. Was it? Are you sure? <laughs> that was Broadway Tower, guys. And I remember, remember 
deer live here. Oh my god, I'm never gonna leave that down. I'm like, leave? <laughs> oh, I can't talk today. I'm never gonna leave that down. <laughs> I'm never gonna live that down. So we're off to Burton on the Water now. Burton on the Water. It's about a 20 minute drive approximately from here. And I'm sure we'll see lots of lovely sights along the way. Come and see them with us. <laughs> just arrived in a burden on the water so it's parking all along the way down here and here is the most famous birds lovely little Aston Martin. Aston Martin where oh yeah Brad's checking out the cars I'm checking out the scenery <laughs> <laughs> this is literally our relationship everywhere we go I'm like oh yeah wow look at that building Brad's like oh wow look at that car <laughs> oh look at this this is Burton on the water absolutely stunning little place it really is L last summer we came we sat over there and we had fish and chips oh look at this place so lovely let's go and explore burton on the water oh, oh yeah gorgeous Okay, so we are now leaving Burton on the water and our next destination is Stow on the Wold. So we've just had a little drink in a lovely little pub um, and yeah, now we're on our way to Stow on the Wold. See what delights that can show us. We'll find out. Brad excited? Very excited. <gasps> Woo! Oh, my new bracelet by the way. Oh, very nice. A malachite bracelet oh, very awesome. nice love it okay let's go see let's go see check out that vibrato guys <laughs> <laughs> wow brad where'd that come from <laughs> great love it Okay. Took the scenic route. Yeah, the scenic route. And I think, am I right in thinking, Brad, that as we go around this corner, you've got one road and it's all in one road? I believe is this it's the one. Be like that. Oh, is it? 
it's split off left and right, but I think we are sort of at the peak of it. Let's have a little look and see. Such a beautiful part of the world this is, guys. Oh, the buildings. Absolutely stunning. In these areas, there's always somewhere to park. So on the side of the road, you normally get what, like an hour or an hour and a half free parking, which is really handy. Oh, look at this place. So yeah, there's always a space on the road somewhere. I'm dotted around a uh, little car parks as well. So it's just easy. Easy to get to, easy to park. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. As you can see, so many spaces to park. Oh, so lovely. Okay guys, I'm really, really excited now because we're now going to Diddly Squats! <laughs> we're now going to Diddly Squat. We might see we might see Gerald. Gerald. So we might see Jeremy Clarkson. We might see Chief and Charlie. <laughs> very, very excited. So yeah, we've just, we're now on the way and... Is that a Supra? Is that one? No. Yes, no. So, I'm really excited because the sun's coming out. Can you see that please, guys? This is lovely. This is the life. Driving through the Cotswolds. Stopping off in the most quaintest, beautiful little villages. Eating sausage rolls, drinking coffee. Eating brownies, <laughs> taking the sights, and I'm hoping to at some point find a little farm shop to get some supplies. Yeah, we need. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we could, but we need wine, eggs, juice. Oh, closing the roof. What else do we need? Something else. Like a list. You love a list. I love a list. But yeah, the, the sun is coming out. This is so lovely, guys. It's so nice. That you can see up there. Oh, it's great. Oh, my ears have just popped. Yeah, me too. My ears just popped. So, yeah. I can't wait to see it from my own eyes. After watching it for two series, I can't wait to actually go there and see it with my own eyes. I'm so excited. Are you excited, Brad? I am. It could be packed. It could be. If it's open. If it's open, who knows? Yeah, it might not be open. If it's not, it's not. But at least we've gone and seen it. <laughs> seen the road. <laughs> That's something. Right, okay.
Okay guys, so we've just rocked up at Diddley Squat and we've been sent over to a different car parking location because it's so busy. It's, it was showing red on the map because there's so many cars here. It's crazy. I can't believe we're actually here. But it's, can you see how muddy it is? Oh my God. Luckily we've got our welly boots in the, in the boot and we're wearing them so. Oh, but oh my God, seriously. I literally can't believe we're here if it doesn't feel right. Are you ready to get muddy, Brad? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, wheel spin. <laughs> it's so muddy. Oh. Okay, we're well, stopped. You've already got your wellies on, so do you mind grabbing my wellies from the boot? I'll get your wellies. <laughs> we're literally here. We're literally dilly squat. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. There's so many cars. I know you're like, we see it on Amazon Prime and you think, oh God, yeah, it's really busy. No, no, no. It really is busy. It's absolutely packed. Absolutely packed. And we're trying not to slide everywhere in the mud. Hello. So we've just come out of the squat and it was great, but it's just bloody muddy. <laughs> Busy, muddy, yeah, all the things you expected it to be. Um, and we're just driving between Chipping Norton and Chaddington now. Probably stop somewhere, go out and get to a farm shop and get some little bits. I know it's technically we've just been to a farm shop, but it's Dilly Squat. It's not, it's not really, I don't know, it's not really your average farm shop, is it? No. We literally just got two crates of Hawkstone beer and tomato and chili chutney. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, fruit and chilli jam. Yeah. Yeah, just so, be, make sure you remortgage your house before you come out because a crate of beer was 30 quid. Yeah, so well. our bill with two crates of beer and the chutney was £64. So, a lot of money. But, you know, you go in there for the experience. It is what it is. You can, you know, say that, oh yeah, we've been to Diddley Squat. Didn't see Jeremy Clarkson or Cheerful Charlie or Gerald. <laughs> so yeah, but it was great and I would highly, I still highly recommend it. So yeah, we're now going to go and see what else we can find in Travellington. Right, here we go. We are, we have just arrived at, um, you've got loads of space this side. Chipping Norton. Yeah, Chipping Norton. Parking sensors. Um, we've just arrived in Chipping Norton's retail park and we're now going to go to MS because we need to get some supplies. Um, we were driving around trying to find <laughs> where Jeremy Clarkson lives. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, we just can't find it. It's so it's so tricky to find. But yeah, nice little places, Chipping Norton and Norton, Norton and Chaddington. Again, very nice places. It's just so lovely. I feotl like I've really had my Cotswolds fix. Absolutely beautiful it is. And Brad's excited because Hipswich have scored. Come on. We're not interested about that. Yes. We're. Anyway, let's go in MS. <laughs> let's get some stuff. I'm not impressed. Brad's just so showing me that Norwich are losing at the minute to Sheffield. United. Fuming. Anyway, I'm going to MS. Bye bye, you can stay here. our home for two nights absolutely love it it's so lovely it's got a little bit of a decking area here they've got their garden there oh i love that tree and yeah this is us love it it's so nice so their house is just there so yeah it's just at the back of their house but it's such a nice little area nice little place and we'll show you inside and here we are, you step through 
and you see this view minus Brad and all the bags. I am the view. <laughs> I am the view. So, like I say, their house is just there. And we've got our little dining table with our little bits on. They've put out fresh flowers. They're so lovely. Such a nice little touch. I love that. There's the car. We've got TV, books in this cupboard is a few games. They are patio doors, I believe, here where the curtains are. We've got the sofa area, nice and cosy. Very chilled. Hey, Brad. And then we've got the kitchen area. Oh my goodness, look. The Hawkstone Premium Lager, which we've just bought from Diddly Squat. So yeah, here we go, it's a lovely little place. It really is, and then the stairs are just by the door as you come in. Bathroom is in here. You've got a shower, sinks around the corner, toilet and everything else. And up the stairs, which is like my favorite part because the view when you go up here is lovely. Proper cozy, little here with plant on. And then, ta-da! Gorgeous little bedroom area. Excuse all our, our things all opened up. Yeah, really, really lovely. Really comfy bed. It's got a gorgeous, lovely throw on. Quilt's lovely, mattress lovely. And then in the distance, you can see the Cotswold Hills. It's just so lovely, guys. Really is lovely. Has a little dressing area, wardrobes in here. Little chair with bright stuff on. And then, yeah, back downstairs too. The gorgeous little living area. So there we go. Quick tour of the place. It's lovely, isn't it, Brad? It really is, yeah. Definitely worth a visit. Definitely. Airbnb. Yes. Check them out. What's, the, what's it called, this place? Uh, Cozy Cottage, I think. Cozy Cottage on Airbnb. Stick it. And I can see the link towards it. Yeah, let's do that. Cotswold View, Cozy Cottage. Cotswold View, Cozy Cottage. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna now chill, get in our cozies and pop open the Prosecco because why not? It's Saturday night and we're gonna choose what we're gonna order from the Indian as well. We're gonna order, order an Indian tonight. They left us one of the menus in the top here. It's from this place here in Chipping Camden. So yeah, we're gonna get one of them. We're gonna chill tonight because tomorrow we have to go home. And I don't want to. But I'm not thinking about that yet. Okay, there we go. There's your tour. Hello and good morning. It is Sunday morning. We have just checked out of our beautiful cottage for the weekend. Brad's driving again. <laughs> so we decided that instead of heading back, straight back to Suffolk, to Ipswich, we are going to stop in Stratford-upon-Avon because we drove through it on Friday night to get here and we were just like, oh wow, it's lovely, it's beautiful. We've never been there before. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little stop over, see what the town center's like maybe, grab a drink and something to eat and then head home. But that cottage that we just stayed in this weekend was stunning. It was so perfect, so idyllic. It was just waking up to the birds singing in the morning is my vibe. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I can't fault it and the, the people that own it as well are lovely they came out and greeted us when we got there they said bye when we left and hope everything was okay they just couldn't do enough for you really could they brad no they couldn't they're really really good hosts really attentive definitely recommend a stay there yeah so don't forget to check them out on airbnb so yeah we, we're heading away but i feel really sad about it because it was so, so lovely i don't want to go home now <laughs> So perfect, it's lovely. I just cooked us some lovely scrambled eggs on toast this morning, that was delicious. And Brad ate his jammy dodgy perfect. brownie. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, it was perfect. Oh, little Scottish accents. Yeah, yours, I like mine. Brad tries. Not very well. <laughs> you try though, baby, you try. So yeah, here we go. Come with us as we explore a little bit of Stratford-upon-Avon. Probably not all of it, but just a little snippet of it. And then we'll 
will go home back to sunny old Suffolk. It is actually going to be sunny this afternoon. Let me check the weather. It is going to be sunny Suffolk. Woo! Woo! Right, come on, let's go. Shut the fun even, we just parked up. And we're now gonna go and see the birthplace place of Shakespeare. Let's do it. Shut the for Shakespeare. Let's go. <laughs> and here we go. We've literally just walked two minutes from the car park and this is literally it. It's so close from the car park called what's it car what's the car park called? Shoppers. Oh I forget the name of it. Shoppers car park or something like that. So yeah, park there and it's two minutes. It's so close, it's so lovely. All oh, right, okay guys, I'm starting to get very excited. <laughs> right, because in the local vicinity, so we've got Shakespeare's birthplace, we've got a Christmas shop there, we've got an Espel house here. Oh my goodness, this is very exciting. We've got to go and investigate. Okay, so we are now about to leave Stratford-upon-Avon. I've absolutely loved it here. It's been so nice, yeah, hasn't it, Brad? Really nice, really nice place. Yeah, it is such a lovely place. There was a market on down by the river, which we don't know about. We went into the Shakespeare gift shop. The lady behind the counter said, oh. Yeah, she's just down there. Oh yeah, she's down there. She said, um, oh, have you been to the market yet? I'm like, no, we're not from around here. We're not locals. Um, so yeah, we got chatting to her and she said, oh, if you go down this road, then this road, and this road, you get to the market, and it's really, really lovely. So that's what we just did. We've just been to the market down there. And luckily, as we sat down with our street food, because a huge row of street food um, places out there, um, the sun started to come out and we were like, oh, this is just so perfect. It felt like we were abroad, didn't we? It was lovely, yeah. Really, really Even though nice. it's only eight degrees. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Then again, it could be because we've been sheltered in the car park, so it may feel a bit colder. Yeah. The car. Yeah, we've got the sunroof open. It's blue skies. Sunny. It's lovely. Yeah, the sun's coming out. Makes me feel like it's spring. <laughs> so nice. So yeah, we've just been there, but I'd, I'd definitely come back here. Oh, god, yeah. Stay They've here. got some really good shops as well, like really nice shopping um, complex near the before you get down to the river. There's like some of my favorite shops, like Lush and Body Shop and the White Company and Joe Malone and yeah. oh, we stopped in Whitard. Oh, we love mm. Whitard. Every time we go in there, we sample the ones they've got on promo offers and things like that. And Brad just brought some new Raspberry Ripple hot chocolate, which is his favorite. Absolutely. And what did I get? Watermelon and strawberry instant tea. Yeah, you love that. Yeah, we love a Whitard. So we just stopped in there as well, and that was lovely. Love a Wittard. Love a Wittard. So yeah, I bought a few things from the Shakespeare's gift shop for my family. Little presents. And we're now going to make the two and a half hour journey. Oh, the sun rays. <laughs> now we're going to make the two and a half hour journey back to Ipswich. Woohoo! Woohoo! So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed our lovely Cotswold spontaneous day. Courtesy of Brad, thanks for booking it, my little lovely. Pleasure. Pleasure. No, you're amazing. That was so nice. <laughs> so yeah, really, really love that. 
that it's time to go home now because we have work tomorrow and that's that the weekend's over nearly yep that's right but yeah it's been lovely and i hope you enjoyed our lovely video staying in the Cotswolds and our little Stratford upon Avon stay so thank you for watching again and don't forget if you really enjoy it then just give us a little thumbs up that would mean the world to us and maybe even a subscribe right we'll be back soon for more adventures <laughs> bye bye